talking. talking. Not too much. Keep talking. You will not even get back. And I want the fuck out of here. Keep it going. Because I look a hot fucking mess. I know you better calm it down and fucking not. I will give you a motherfucking thing. And I'll cut off all the motherfucking cards. And you get nothing. So you better shh. Take this 225, baby, because you are on the verge and I'm getting nothing. I'm a whole shit. I'm not paying 225. Bitch! Okay. This is a fucking mess! Girls can't take my motherfucking mouth, bitch. My mouth is real and it's raw and it's watchy, bitch. I'm going to give the girls exactly what the fuck they asked for. The girls is going to know my wrath. Trust me. Oh my God, you really did your big one. How much is it again? You owe me three fifty. What happened? Three fifty. Yeah. How so? Um, your wigging soul was two hundred. Then you have same day customization, and then you're gonna have to pay me for yesterday's work as well. I'm not even gonna lie. Like no disrespectful shit, but I'm dead not paying three fifty. It's anonymous. Uh, I can give you 200, but I'm dead not giving you 350. Um, we could probably, um, we're gonna have to. I'm not gonna lie, there's no working nothing out. Like, I'm dead on skip not giving you 350. Oh, well, then, if you don't want to give me the 350, we're just gonna have to take your wig off. Like, I don't feel comfortable take, recording me. Take what wig off? I'm gonna record because you're not gonna tell me not oh, to record. Oh, me too. Well, I'm gonna have my video as well. So. I don't care. Okay, well, you're gonna pay me 350 or I'm gonna take the wig off. I'm down. not paying you 350. Honey, I'm, I, don't, I don't wanna step on your toes here, but you're gonna take that wig off if you're not gonna pay the I'm sorry, you're not giving me 200 for that. And um, yesterday's work and today, it's not happening. Respectfully, respectfully I'm only giving you. Right. You know, I'm gonna record you guys respectfully. You're not gonna get you crazy. I'm gonna give this to I'm my lawyer. I'm not getting crazy. This is removal. Are we're you gonna not start living. giving you 350. Okay, so just sit back and we're just. I'm gonna get up and get my no, dog. Okay, so this is what. Ma'am, you need to come back and pay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to post you on the internet. Like, I'm serious. You need to come back and pay. Okay. You cannot get served and walk out my shop I, like that. No, ma'am. Okay. I can okay. fix your nail. No, no, you're gonna have to come back and pay. Okay. I'm gonna post you on the internet. I'm serious. Okay. You're stealing from my business. No, I'm not stealing from your business. Yeah, so why didn't you pay? Why didn't you pay when you walk out my shop? Why didn't you pay? I told you why when I left. No, I don't trust you. You need to come back and pay. Or I'm gonna post you up. And Elgin needs more. It's only twenty, thirty dollars to pay to do the right thing. You get served and you walk out. I said okay, but I'm not gonna talk to you here because this is. This no, you did not talk to me at my business. I asked you nicely to pay. I was polite to you. You walk out, no, and you think not. I'm not gonna follow you? This lady gets served in my business and she took walk out. And see over here all the re room. You did not. Yes, we you did. You put a deposit on it and no. I have issued it back to your card. No. Please no. leave my facility no. now. No. So you, you clocked out. We pay for the room. We pay for the room. Home again. Home again. It's right there. You gotta call for the black phone. We pay for the room. We pay for the I reservation. refunded it. In force. You're kicking us there out. There was no in force. We didn't oh. agree. We didn't you agree. To to yes. You told us to go closet. I videotaped everything. I, I cannot told believe you it. That, that the bed was not broke. I cannot you? give you something for free, and that is what you're looking no. for. Yes. We have you have zero no complaints here. You never asked for a refund. You did not pay. You never asked for a refund. You did I'll not pay. With RCI. She refused to give us a room. You said that you have rooms, but you don't want to give it to we us asked, because yes. of other people. No, I said I did not have rooms. You have rooms. I'm completely not Look at all these cards. People didn't check in. They everybody. are assigned to another customer. You know what assigned means. And you okay. know what switch means? That when a room is out of standard, you put them in we a room that you have available because for you know why. We are too short to staffed to, to be switching rooms. You I'm sorry. You're switching room, putting Please, one we are guest in a room that's and ready. Your children then you have time to change that room no. and the next guest can check in I and the room is done. ready. I have refunded your is. money. Uh, there's nothing know. else I can do.
I cannot believe. I, ca I cannot believe. We are client. We waited for the room. And offering us a class since two thirty. Nobody offered you a oh, closet. Yes. yes, you did. did. That's all. She I said, have "Would you like?" Would you Can you, like you believe? She said, "Would you like to sleep I in the I never asked class? you. Did you want it? I said, "That's you all I have it? available." Why would you say that to anybody? Because you wasn't understanding what I was saying. Understanding is you. You're the one who's not understanding. We made a reservation, we pay for it. And we came here, waited for the room. Yes. I have everything here in the videotape. And I do too. This is where I refunded the two hundred dollars. Oh, in full. That you forced you it. Didn't we didn't it agree. We didn't. I don't care. I don't want you at That's my facility. Thing. Thank you. We can wait for the bed, but we don't want broken bed. Nobody should be treated in broken bed. If it's perfectly it's good, it's not broken. They give it to another client. No, that's your room. Why? Well, actually, it's not anymore. Why you give I it to us that room money. that we don't want to? We a client. We say it's broken. We want another room. Simple as that. I'm off the clock, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you are acting like that to all the Asians. Is that what you are? I, didn't I think know. so. I thought you, you didn't know. I thought that she you offered were, me to sleep in the closet. I thought that you were she black. said she's kicking me oh out. She called police because I asked for another room. Another oh, room? I you. thought that she looked she black that, to me. That would be the reason I look like a no, black. No, matter of fact, so it looks like. Did you, you hear what she said? Your face that looks yes. like a Caucasian too. Yes. Oh, oh my. Y'all wanted a water refill with one of y'all waters. How am I supposed to know you want a sprite? That's why she told me she wanted to, just like they told me that one she told me she wanted that Bless Your Sweetheart. If you want to spot out, I can't read your mind. I came over here a million times, back and forth. I came over here back and forth a million times trying to figure out what he wanted, was it dairy free or anything. I came back over here a million times with, with my son. I made him for 11 months. That was my first dad, like anything. I made him for 11 months. That was my only problem. You didn't know real problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Ye
Oh, you want to get smart, huh? You, sir, make me wish I had more middle fingers. You think you're all big and bad, don't uh -huh. you? Uh-huh. Keep it coming. Keep it I coming. Know, if I was here face-to-face -face with you right now, things would have been a whole lot different. Yeah, what? you'd be in handcuffs, taken out on a stretcher on your way to the hospital, and then headed to jail after that. <laughs> so I'm going to do us both a favor and go ahead and hang up. Goodbye. Don't you dare you ate them up. These types of customers think they call the shots around here. Mm -hmm. Newsflash, they don't. Please tell me you recorded that. Did y'all see that post with a client who maced her hairstylist because she didn't like how the braids came out? Yes, you heard correctly. Apparently, this Detroit hairstylist did her client's hair and she didn't wait until the end to say that she didn't like how the hair came out. She was given the option to take it out or come the next day and have it redone, but the client didn't want to pay. That was the issue. So the client, she starts walking to her car and the hairstylist is following behind her. The client's saying, oh, get away from my car. Don't come near my car. And the hairstylist takes out her phone like she's about to start recording her. Like, are you serious? So the client she then takes out what looks like a uh, mace in her hand and she sprays it in the hairstylist's face and say oh don't come to my car stop playing with me stop playing with me she literally then proceeded to follow the hairstylist and spray her even more in her eyes and saying oh that's what you get stop playing with me stop playing with me you're lucky i didn't pew pew get behind and all that over hair over hair in any profession that you're in whether you're a hair salonist whether you're a nurse whatever it is Please do not put your life on the line for people. In a situation like that, the most I would probably do is call the police. That's it. But I'm not going to put my life in the way because someone else didn't pay. Yes, it's a disservice. Yes, I didn't get paid for my services, but I have my life. For me, I'm a nurse and I work with patients who get very aggressive, very agitated, who like to start throwing things and getting crazy. Me, I'm not putting my life on the line. I'm going to call security, I'm going to follow protocol, and I'm going to keep my butt away. If you don't want something, if you don't want to listen or cooperate, okay, I'll just take the follow protocol. I'm not going to risk my life. For what? I'm not going to play the superhero. I'm not doing that. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of The World is Ghetto! Yes, y'all, the world is still ghetto, y'all. And I want to say this, y'all. Thank you so much for running the first video up. Y'all took it to a different level and it's still going up. So that's why I came out with a part two because y'all did so well. Y'all enjoyed that video. Y'all still running it up, y'all engaging. So I want to say this, y'all. If y'all run this video up to 2,000 likes on this video, so y'all got to just go and like it. It's just free to like, y'all. It's a free way to support the channel. If y'all run it up to 2K likes, who knows? I will have another video out for you coming soon, okay? So yeah, consider this video an early Christmas gift to everyone out there for the holiday season. So yes, y'all, run this video up to 2,000 likes and run my channel up to 2,500 subs. Let's get it all done and I will get y'all these videos out. So without further ado, y'all, thank you so much again. And if you're new into the um in this channel, y'all make sure y'all y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all make sure y'all also hit that notification bell every time I drop, y'all get first dibs. So yes, without further ado, y'all, I don't wanna talk too much because y'all already know how this goes. Let's get right into the rest of these videos. Speech is dead. Excuse me, didn't do anything. You don't like the words coming out of my mouth. No, we're not coming off. And you're gonna have to take everyone off. Do you guys see what's happening in America? You didn't like what he said, and now we get kicked off a plane. And all of you all are gonna have to wait. This is Can you tell me what we did? Listen, you're gonna get off the plane. 
because we're Trump supporters. Seriously, I really think that's what it is. Don't do that. This client was being rude while I was doing her makeup. I asked her to hold her head up multiple times, and she had a attitude. It got to a point where I no longer wanted to do her makeup anymore. The audacity of her to slam my door. Oh. Oh. She don't well, like her hair not and is not me. paying. I tried to be professional she said she as possible. She don't like her hair. She, I don't like nothing about it. Like Bella on some real shit. You know I fuck you. You, you been like, but no, I'm not. I, no, no. I just no. did her no. hair. No. I just. I mean, what, what? Like, no, I don't like it. Like, Ooh. nothing about it, bitch. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm recording this because y'all. She don't like her hair. I can record too. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 so I, I, you I, trying I, to tell me I'm not getting my money? No, you're not. I'm not paying you shit. Don't touch. I, I'm not giving you nothing. nothing. You not giving me y'all. She owe me some I'm money. Not you nothing. She I, owe me some money. Okay. She owe Okay. She not trying to give me okay. my money, I'm, and you're not getting. And she don't like her hair. So what are you gonna do? Look, I, I don't like shit about it. Nothing. The baby hairs. So my time that I you wasted went, wasn't shit to you. Down too far on my oh. forehead, like really, really. It's not giving that all. So when I placed that wig on your head, you said I see. I placed the wig on your head, and I asked you. I said, do okay, you like well, it? Okay, when you put the glue on, when you laid it back down, you didn't put it where I asked you to put it. Really? I don't understand. Oh my well, God, y'all! Do y'all think I did a bad job? I need I comments. Think, I need. I need like, comments. I, I don't. You're not getting nothing, Bella. Here she is trying to leave. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm no, you're not. You finna give me my money. You finna give me my money. If I don't, what you gonna do? So I have a client that owes me $6,100 and they are refusing to pay. And what I learned from this experience is you should always Google people, not the business you're working with, but the actual people, because this is a wild ride. They refuse to pay the $6,100. They are saying that I didn't work that much. Now, mind you, I was doing customer service, social media, email marketing, and paid ads. I was doing all of that. So I sent them an itemized 15 by 15 minute. Here's what I was doing. They come back and they say, well, we're not going to pay the $6,100, but we'll pay you half of that and give you equity in the company. And I was like, equity doesn't pay my bills, so sorry, I need you to pay the invoice. And in doing that, they removed me from my email account and their social media, effectively ending the contract, right? So I started doing some research. I reached out to the girl that trained me. Turns out they haven't paid some other people too. Some of them they eventually paid, not everyone, but when people were demanding that they get paid, they threatened to call immigration on them because they were asking to get paid. Not to mention, I Googled one of the people who ended up being on Shark Tank for a different business. And all five sharks wanted to invest in him, but Mark Cuban did. And Mark Cuban has now called it his worst investment ever because the product ended up being kind of a Theranos Elizabeth Holmes situation. Lesson learned. Google the people you're going to be working with to see what else they have done in their past, not just the business you're working with, because that will not tell you everything, every part of the story. So anyways, I'm probably going to have to sue to get the money, and I probably won't even see it, because who knows if the business will still even exist if they're that Bro, I should get some of my homies down here to smoke your bro, goofy Bro, all that for what, bro? Because, bro, you, you don't even know how to do your job, bro. All I asked was a couple of Pepper, and I told you, like put it in the window, and I got you. Bro, put it in the window, and I got you, bro. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Will? Bro, he said he wants more peppers. I told him, put it in the window. And what happened? He wants a new one. Hey, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. You ain't got to get in my face. Hey, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. You take that shit and get the f*** on about our stuff, man. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I don't think you should just watch how you talk to people. You don't come in this man's store doing all that extra. You ain't even let me respond. I'm just saying. Because he don't do all that. He disrespect you. He don't do all that. So just take me. 
Just go ahead and get your silly get up out of here. I ain't got to pay this chick. Come on, bro. I'm going to get my homies up here to bro. smoke your goofy ass. Excuse me. Can you watch your money? Yeah, come on. You doing too much. Let me pay for my shit. Man, I don't get no fuck, man. Hey, hey, hey. You know who he is? Hey, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, bro, we make this shit, bro. What's up, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you. I'm not, I'm not gonna make it when you be mad disrespectful, bro. Alright, whatever, bro. You niggas, bro. Damn, Alright, we get the fuck on, man. Go and pay for that shit. Let him pay for that shit. Man. I feel that one cool, cause anybody. Let me tell y'all why I never travel to do a bitch hair again. Don't ask me, baby. Get somebody else to do it. And y'all shouldn't be traveling to provide no services for no bitches either. Yeah, so boom. Now, I've been in this little group probably like three years. Well, I'm not even in the group no more because I've removed myself. It's one thing when you traveling to do services, when you doing that shit out your house, and when you got a motherfucking shop. I'm sure y'all already know this. Y'all, so this girl ended up hitting me up and was like, hey, can you travel to me because I'm eight months pregnant and, you know, I'm on bed rest or whatever and I don't really like moving around. Plus, I got seven other kids. You feel me? All right, cool. Long as you doing yo, 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 did it with your kids that's your business i don't care but you are aware that i bitch i gotta travel a few aka house call so long as you 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 already got that overstood we is good plus the cost of the hairstyle let's not forget that because you can say travel feed these bitches and forget that you gotta even pay for the hairstyle no the fuck man we is not doing it so she sent me the address i get to looking it up on google trying to see how far she is and what area she in. you feel me because bitch i'm trying to make sure i'm good because i ain't come over here for no bullshit but bitch we can get it popping at any time bitch at the same time i ain't got time for nobody to be trying to steal no motherfucker convert collect cadillac convert or whatever the fuck this shit called up off this motherfucking court because i know that shit be motherfucking bad then this hoe gonna have the audacity to mention it to me after i get in the house that's really why i'm making another story time on this bitch outside of her not trying to pay for her daughter hell first of all before i continue the internet is a red flag when you're trying to look up some apartments bitch you need to see that shit with your eyes because that shit be all a, a front it be a front it look a mess it be looking a mess anyways y'all this bitch is like well um i don't stay in the front side it's some more apartments in the back so I'm like, okay, cool. Now, mind you, I looked the shit up on the internet. And, okay, it's cool. Y'all, when I get there, it's giving a raggedy vibes. But she did say she at the back, like in another set of apartments. So, okay, cool. She was like, they different names. But you got to travel through here to get there. Or you can go all the way around. Which I wasn't finna do that. Because, bitch, at this point, I'm ready to peel the fuck out. Okay, get on to the back to her side, y'all. It, it don't look like the front side look. The front side looked a fucking fool. Bitch, I get on in her house. Wasn't given. But, again, this is your place of house. You know, this is your resident. I ain't fucked up about nothing. I ain't come here to talk about you, bitch. I come here to get this money on, do this little service, and deal. Bitch, I instantly want to get started because when I'm out of my, my comfort zone, bitch, I don't have time for no extra shit. I ain't got time for no extra conversations. I ain't got time for no no extra lint and shit, bitch. You should have discussed all that with me 48 hours ago. Bitch, fuck 24, 48 hours ago. So if I, I know that's what I want to do. Bitch, when I tell you I wasn't even good and done with the first five braids on the first row, when that bitch said, oh, um, I'm waiting on my money to transfer, like, some Instacart shit or whatever the fuck going on, yeah, I immediately stopped. Because, bitch, you got seven kids plus one in your belly, and we over here in the motherfucking slums and under the bucket. Bitch, do you think I'm finna play with you about my money, bitch, and I'm over here in your little area? Oh, I think the fuck not. Then I gotta worry about, is the motherfucking convert catalator gone, whatever the fuck that shit called. Bitch, no, ma'am. So, as I stopped, you know, she still talking and shit like that. I'm, I'm already knowing she feeling the vibes with me and shit like that, because, bitch, I ain't no continue doing no hair bitch you ain't finna play these type of games because i will roof you up in your shit oh so yeah like 15 minutes go by and i'm trying not to dip on her because i understand bitch your daughter got to get to school but you saying that you know how to braid and then now you saying that you waiting on your money to transfer bitch you should have already had this shit overstood the first time bitch before i even came you should have told me well hold on i'm trying to make sure i got this braid you feel me did y'all see that did y'all really see that like in the previous video i had to step in and talk about it because I just want to get y'all opinions down in the comment section like would y'all sit down in the chair and let a stylist cut down your cornrows we're not talking about individual braids not less we're talking about cornrows down for straight from the root we're all it is all gone in your ball 
like if you're in her position would you let the stylist do that like oh my god i feel so sorry for her but like y'all leave y'all comments in the comment section let me know what y'all would do if y'all was in her position would y'all let the stylist do this or are y'all throwing hands like what's going on let me know you want a regular chicken sandwich but i can't do half of it with you don't have to so you just want a chicken sandwich? yes all right do you want the onions and peppers in it yes Tony. What? You like little Tony. Stop recording me. I don't even play like that, but I don't play like that either. You know what I mean? I'm at McDonald's. I done been here for 25 minutes. Look, even he recording. But well, his phone. Cause he just like, what is going on? Like nobody answering, nobody saying nothing. I have a mobile order. Like, what's up? What's going on? Are y'all open? People in there, cause they keep working hard. Some dogs sleep up there knocking. He's knocking. He's saying hello. Burma, this is Shirley. Look, he ain't fucking around. You been here? <gasps> you just threw that at me? Oh, hell no. You just threw that at me? kind of customer service is this? Um, this is the number two, right? Yes. Um, I meant to say number three. I don't want this. And, um, yeah, can you change that to a number three? Matter of fact, um, a number seven. Number seven? Oh, number three. You pick one. What you mean I pick one? You just ordered the fucking food. Excuse me? Bro, you heard what I said, bro. You got to call, bro. I got time for your shit, bro. What kind of customer service is this? What the fuck you want? Yes or no? Is this what you want? This is what you pay for? This is what you about to get? I want a number. No, I, I want. Hear what you want. I want a number. This is what you pay for. So this is what you're gonna get. Here, I got. I got your fanta right there. Here. And I don't want fan. I want. I want fruit punch, please. You want fruit punch? All fucking well. You finna get what the fuck I made and what the fuck you pay for. Oh my god. What kind of customer service is this? What kind of customer are you? Oh. I just want it. Well. No, I'm gonna just just give my money back. Your money back, lady. Fuck your money. Here, get this. Get this drink. 
Here you go. You have a nice day. Sir, how can I help you? I'm disabled. I'm in a wheelchair. I have a right to go to the head of the line. No, you do not. Yes, I do. That's the law. It is the law. You do not. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And go to the head of the line. To the head of the line. You call a manager out here. You're not the manager. And we have preference over appointments. No, you do not. Even if I don't have an appointment. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. Are you the manager? Even when I'm in the grocery store. Even is there somebody the above you? Store. No, there's not. And what are you going to do? Are you going to assist us or just badger us? As soon as the rest of the people are helped, you're going to be placed in line where you need to be. What are you going to do? You're going to badger us for 15 minutes and not help us? I suggest you go to your law books and you find out that I'm right. Sir, what it has is that you will be having a certain spot that's a set Whoa. Time for you. Whoa. That's not even not correct. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what the ADA law is then, if you know what it is. That you have certain spaces set aside specifically. No, 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 no. When I go to the grocery store, they tell me to go to the head of the line. I always go to the head of the line, even in the grocery store. It's a state office, and how dare you work for the state and not even know what the ADA laws are. I do know what they are. No, you then don't. why are you badgering us and not Tell helping. me what the ADA law is when it, when it comes to a line Sir, of people. Sir, I told you what it was. You did not tell me. To go to the end of the line, she says. It does not say go to the end of the line. It does not say go to the end of the line. It's outrageous. Here's the paperwork. Okay. Assist us. Why are you this just sitting the there taking the up time and not assisting us and telling us to go to the end of the line? You know that's not even right. Maybe in your country it is where you're from. You don't know what the, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know nothing about ADA laws at all. Period. Okay. You can't this even is, tell me what part of the law book is. Yeah, this is a different when country. It was even I'm not sure Enough what country you're in. Enough of that. Enough of that. Ma'am, we're in America. Yes, America yes. has laws yes, for the disability. Yes. You're sitting there saying yes, you are. No, you aren't. Why don't you do the paperwork? You're from sir. yelling is polite. Get the cops here. I want the police here. This man just assaulted my son. Yes, he did. He took my camera. That's assault. That's robbery. That's theft. Get my son here. Thank you. What happened? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, because our car machine is down. Okay, but that shit always fucking down. Okay, we'll get it fixed. No. Okay, then. You got cash or you don't? No. Oh, okay. Don't try to mark you for picking your ass. You gonna tell me that you can't? Can I scan your app, please? You can't. You tell me you can't can fulfill my your, order. Can I scan your app, please? Yeah, after you answer my question. Can I scan your app, please? You're acting very hostile. I'm not. I'm asking you. To okay, your app, and I'm asking you. You're telling me you couldn't blend my can smoothie. Your app, so I can give you your refund. You're okay. holding up the line. No, you're holding up the line. You're holding up the line. I, can I give? You I need you to so confirm that you, you said. Can I get you your refund, ma'am? Would you like your refund? Ma'am, I don't like to be recorded. I don't okay. appreciate it. But you it. told me that you couldn't blend my smoothie. Can I get your card? So I can no, not your until you confirm why you couldn't make my smoothie right. Can you give me your card? So I can Did you hear me? Smoothie? No. I hear you. I'm not deaf. Okay. I'm not. Can I get your card? I'm asking you to confirm you I'm couldn't make my smoothie. Because you're being very inconsiderate to the people behind you right now. And I don't appreciate you recording me and having your phone in my face. It's not in your face. So... It is in my face. This is here and you're there. Understandable, but you're being very inconsiderate to the people behind you. And I'm just trying to help you at the moment. Uh, I'd like to get your gift card, please. Can you just give me the cash and my receipt with your name on it? Your gift card? No, ma'am. Can I get your gift card? No, ma'am. Give me the cash. That's fine. All right, all done. Um, this is not, I don't like these. What's wrong with them? They're just too, like, bulky, I don't know. What do you mean? I mean, you got, they're rhinestones, so. But it's too many, I didn't ask for these many rhinestones, though. And now I can't even take them off, they're like stuck on here now, aren't they? Well. I mean, why don't you tell me that? I wasn't thinking, like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, um, I have a client after this, so we can reschedule for, like, tomorrow to fix them, but no, I do need, like, I 
need you to pay them. How? I don't pay for these? Yeah. I mean, I put the work in. But these are not good, though. But it was still my time. I mean, they took me five hours. <laughs> uh, well, you kind of, you wasted my, you wasted my time and your time. Like, this is not what I want. Okay, but I'm going to. I don't, I don't think, pay. no, I don't think I'm going to pay. Like, you could chop these off or something. I could do somebody yeah. else. It's all on the bottom, see? And now you can go to a different store. We will not be serving you anymore. Thank you. Have Thank a day. you. You got for what? what? Why are you not serving me? Please come forward. Why are you not serving me? Get out of my drive thru I'm now. just asking you why you're because not serving me. Because every single time we make your drink, it is wrong. Obviously, we cannot satisfy you the first time, and we're done trying. So get out of my drive thru okay. Green, are you ready to see that? Three, two, one. I'm going to hand you the mirror. Let me know. Oh my god. These are Here's so cute. Too. And these are the brown lashes, right? Yeah. So this is J Curl. And do you see the differences of the black and brown? Yeah. It looks yeah. So good. Dude, like, you're looks so much more natural. Yeah. Like I really like them. I, I feel like really brown like, like really, really compliments you, huh? Yeah. Can I go look in the mirror? Yeah, go. Do you want the other mirror or this little mirror? Oh, uh, I want to see the like the body mirror. Okay, yeah. You can go. I'm just going to um pack your little bag, okay? So cute. I'm literally in love with you. Do they feel comfortable though? Yes. Like, you Are you sure? Feel them. Yeah. You don't feel them at all? No, I literally was napping. Okay, good. Did it burn or anything? No. No? Okay. Wait, how much are these again? Sorry? How much are these again? Yes, so uh, these uh, brown lashes are going to be 220, okay? So Wait, 220. What? Sorry? Wait, what? It's 220. 220? Yeah. Why? Why is it 220? Yeah. Well, first it's brown lashes and... Yeah, but you told me the original price was going to be 130. Yes. This is usually what I pay for my lash set. Yes, but these also were brown lashes, so that's an extra $25 charge. And honestly, dude, you were late. So I had to give you, like... I came here seven minutes before my appointment. Yeah, but I do, um, like, after the five minutes, you have to be here already. And... So messed up. I was not that far away. I know. How much is the late fee? Another ten dollars. Yeah, that is way too expensive. I mean, I had thought that it was gonna be the original price, but also the brown lashes because I also had to buy a tray just specifically for you. Since you remember how we said in the text message, oh, it's gonna be brown lashes, and yeah. since you were gonna be my model. No, yeah, but two twenty is way too expensive. I mean, I love them and they're so beautiful, but two twenty, I'm not but paying two twenty. Like there's no way. But uh, if you don't, if you can't pay for them today, that's okay. No, it's I do. I have Afterpay, and I also do Klarna. Yeah. Is that okay? No, it's not because if you do um Afterpay or Klarna. It's no, no, but it's not about the money because I have the money. It's the fact that I had no idea it was gonna be two twenty, and two twenty is way too much for this set. Like, would you pay two twenty for these eyelashes? I mean, I actually pay more. <laughs> I pay yeah, like well, I pay like a lot more. Usually, I don't pay that much. So, well, I mean, I do have another option. I can't. Well, there's a lot of options. Klarna, which is four payments every like week or two weeks, I believe it's like forty dollars or like fifty dollars. And then the other option is like me completely removing them for you. Yeah, you're not touching my eyelashes. I, but you can't pay the two hundred. No, I can. It's just the fact that it's that expensive. So okay, well, do you want to lay down? I can remove no. them for you. No, it's okay. I, I you can I'm lay just, down, girl. No, I think I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. This is ridiculous. Well, you just lost the client. I don't know what to tell you, girl. Okay, just remove them. I don't, I don't even want them anymore. Just remove them. Okay. 
I'm gonna remove them because honestly, I really, really, really. I mean, first of all, this is a customized set, and these are brown lashes, and this just, fits your eye. I just don't know how I went from 130 to 220. Like, well, you did. This was a customized set, so that's an add-on, and then it's brown lashes, 25 add-on. You came late. Yeah, you could just take them off. Okay. But, yeah. I'll just take them off. Yeah. So good. How do you like it? Um. I don't like it at all. I don't, I don't like them at all. Well, 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 what don't you like about it? I don't like anything about it. The, the paint job, I don't like any, I'm not paying. What do you mean not paying? I did most of the work already. I. Yeah, I'm not paying. Like this is, this is the finished product and that. I hate it. I hate the finished product. So well, you have to pay me something because I, I won't charge you for the polish. No. But you got to pay me for the acrylic and the shaping and all that. No, I'm not going to do that. It, none of it looks good. I don't even like the way the acrylic is laid. So no, I'm not paying Well, you should have said something. How come you yeah. didn't say anything? Because I wanted to see what the final project, product looks like and it's, it's horrendous. You, well, you have to pay me something. You can't just walk away without paying. Yeah, I can walk away without paying. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. I'm not paying for that. There's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not cute at all. And I was promised you were going to give me cute, and I'm not getting cute here. Well, you, you're you going to pay me something. Well, I'm not. I'm not paying you anything. You know what? Let me see your hand. Let me check this out real quick. You're not going to pay me? You're not going to pay me? What the hell are you doing? There, you can just go. Why are you $50 short? Um, ma'am, I believe your crisis is if you're 30 minutes late, it's a $50 charge, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, if you're 30 minutes late, so yeah. so, so so you were so you were 30 minutes late, right? Oh no, that's so not Yeah, baby, you were 30 minutes late, right? So I paid you a hundred dollars because I did your hair, your hair's done, right? Uh, yeah, it's done, but you were 30 minutes late, sweetie, so I deducted fifty dollars from you. Because that's totally unprofessional. You have me waiting for you for 30 minutes. Look, I'm not gonna I'm not have a good day, baby. Part two of how my client tried to walk off on me as a 17 year old hairstylist. So basically after she asks, can she go to the bank? I told her there's no way she going unless she leave her ID or one of her valuable belongings here with me. Y'all, the way she was talking, I would have thought this girl was desperate. Talking, I almost believed her. She was trying to convince me, talking about she would be right back and she gonna come right back. I can trust her and all this. Baby, I don't even trust people I've known for years. What make you think I'm gonna trust you when I just met you today? Like, this is a business. We are not friends whatsoever. So it's like, what are you talking about right now? So after I peeped what she was on, I called my mama because I was like, some ain't right, some ain't adding up right now. So I told my mama what's going on and she was pissed off, y'all, like real bad. So she on the phone told me I let her talk to the client. So she said in the most respectful way possible, if you don't pay right now, the police will be called on you immediately. <laughs> so my client got scared, y'all. Like, <laughs> I was in my head laughing how scared this girl got. 
Like, it looked like she seen a ghost. Because no way you really tried to play in my face like this, y'all. So after that, she was like, it wasn't even that serious. I was going to send the money. I'm going to cash up you right now. All this extra stuff, but was not just talking about that when it was just, oh, okay. So I'm like, I could have sworn your cash up just wasn't working, but now it's working. Okay. I never understood why people play with the hairstylist that got the hot tools over y'all head. After she sent my money, I told her she can leave. Soon as she left, she was blocked on everything. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I wasn't being seen yesterday. Nobody didn't want to see you. You didn't have an appointment. We had all the chairs full, but we wasted, what, eight hours on missed appointments of our chair time? You're going to need to find another dentist. Okay, well, I'm going to need my check from what you guys took from Medicaid. Oh, well, you can talk to Nisha about that. The one you made cry yesterday. You had the whole waiting room upset. Don't know my was in a lot of we pain. Were, who cares? And you got who? Who Bam. cares? So you come in and ask for doctors. You are a doctor. You, you are got a and twenty. You are a pills. doctor, and you're a. Thanks for Get your out. license. Ooh, on camera too. Get out. Thank you for this. That and you don't want to cause this pain. You can leave. Yes, and I will show you guys. I will show you guys, and she threw it on the floor. <laughs> I will see you guys. Stop pointing at She just said that she wants me to take my nails no, off and show her you money know why? Because, you money because I'm not happy. Well, well, I'm not happy. The thing is, she already done her work and you already been waiting. You want what she, you already get your nails done and why you want your money back and she has to take time? Because my nails do not look good. I don't like the way that they look. Well, it's because you, you, you don't, you don't, I don't like it. I don't want to say that. It doesn't this. look good. If you guys think that this work looks good, then you're lying to yourself. That's okay. ridiculous. Can you go and ask somebody else? I'll okay. ask, no, we'll we'll ask yes. this lady at the end. Excuse me. Do you think that these my nails look even? I'm not, they want to, they want to see. Would you be okay with this work? We did not she has. Seen in. You know, I can't really, you know, give an opinion. This is story time about the time a client came to my house and tried to leave without paying. So basically this client hit me up on Instagram. That's when I first started braiding. And so I didn't have a deposit system. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have a website, nothing. And so they're like, oh, I want to get um, my, my hair done. I want to get box braids. I'm like, yeah, sure. Like we set a date and she did come on time. Everything was good. Everything was clear. So she pulls up now and <clears throat> We're talking, we're having an amazing time. Usually box braids takes me like three hours, three and a half hours, depending on how thick your hair is and how long you want your hair. And it was like standard hair, you know? So we're talking, we're chatting, she's telling me about her boyfriend, telling me about her life, you know, and we're just having an amazing time watching TV. Everything is going perfectly fine. Then it's now time to dip the hair in hot water and like, like cut it. You know, like how you take the braid piece and you start cutting? And she's like, yeah, it's fine, no problem. So I go upstairs, okay, and I'm looking for the scissors. And while I'm doing that, I'm trying to go back down, like I'm going back downstairs now. Um, so the way the house is made, you have the basement, you have the main floor, and then you have upstairs. I don't know, not every house is like that, but some are. So I'm going to the main floor now to go to the basement, and I see her in front of the door, and I'm like, girl, what are you doing? She's like, oh yeah, I forgot my money um, in the car. I'm gonna go get it. You told me you bust here. Like, what do you mean in your car? And, <laughs> oh my God, this liar. And then she's like, I'm like, no, okay, well, let's go together. You know, like, I'm still trying to make it look cool because you're tripping if you think you're going to finesse me. <laughs> no. And <laughs> so basically, we're, going to, we're, we're trying to go towards the car. And I was like, yeah, I don't have my car. Like, all in a while, you don't have money to pay you. This is what happens when you're not paying. <laughs> <laughs>
A builder took a chainsaw to an extension he built after allegedly not being paid for his work. Footage shows him furiously firing up the saw before hacking away at the roof. He also put up these signs in the area, naming and shaming the house address. This was one of the most difficult customers I've ever had to work with. They signed the contract for $45,000, but midway through, they decided they're not paying me anymore. They said that we installed the wrong paver, even though they are the ones that approved it. After going back and forth with the customer, I got the manufacturer to call them personally and tell them that indeed it was the right color. In business, you're going to come across people that will try to rip you off. I don't know if that was the case in this situation, but I'm glad I had everything written on a bulletproof contract. Did you call us right before? I called at 510. I was supposed to be picked up at 5 o'clock. I called at 510. You guys didn't come to pick me up. I've been on hold for 30 minutes waiting for a ride. I was supposed to have a car. You didn't have a car Monday. You told me come Tuesday. I said I need to be picked up. You guys said you'll come pick me up. I said my address. I gave you my information. I said I'm right around the street at the Walmart Distribution Center. They said do you work at the Walmart Distribution Center? I said no. I'm right next to it. I live here. I'm waiting for a ride. I'm supposed to be picked up at 5. I've got to be at work. I'm over here now. 30 minutes on hold and I'm I'm trying not to have a really bad attitude but you guys are messing up the orders you messed up the reservation I'm waiting on a car I gotta be somewhere and this is what I'm this is what I'm gonna tell you though all that could have been avoided if you answered the phone or picked all me up. that could have been avoided if you weren't by calling me and when I picked up the phone saying you don't have to pick me you up you don't have to pick so me up I'm, I'm not, here I'm not giving you a rental car I'm, I'm here I don't care now I'm, I'm not, here I don't care. I'm I, not giving you a rental car that's fine okay this is so all you can exit thank you have a great day nope. Rise and shine. Let me tell y'all why y'all need to be mindful of who the fuck you bring to your spot and if these clients are new or old because these bitches is weird as fuck. So, boom, full time. Why the fuck I was just gonna have to rough one of my clients in? Because this whole tried it. Bitch, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning and she tried it. First thing first, attitude was real nasty, bitch. You don't know me, I don't know you. So, when you come, you need to come all the way to full correct, well, bitch. I'm gonna get you in line. Now, moving forward, the bitch hit me up yesterday about getting some small knowledge around by like 3 or 4 o'clock. Now, bitch, it's made on them day you think I'm finna do it. Then she wanted these motherfuckers to her knees. Bitch, you think I'm finna do you some small knowledge to your knees, same day, you're not trying to pay same day appointment. No ma'am, you can wait till the end of the morning. So this what brings us to this morning. Mind you, I didn't charge the bitch a deposit because I, I really don't even give a fuck about the hair shit at this point. And I don't I don't be so sure about these hoes. So I don't want your little deposit boo. If you gonna come, I need my shit in full. What fuck is you talking about? Anyways, and my hair gonna stay dead. What fuck is you talking about? It's gonna get dead in a few minutes as soon as I'm done. Anyways, when she get here, y'all, she low key rude. She jumped on the phone. I ain't tripping on nobody except when they phone calls or whatever, right? But she on the line telling the people, oh yeah, um, because usually the African the only people I let do my hair, I don't really be trusting other people in my head, so this a first for me, this a first for me. Bitch, y'all, that right there was doing it. So I said, if you booking before you looking, then that's a red flag. What's, what's your point? Because, bitch, my hair be A1 always, bitch, and anybody here I do loves it. So she like, huh, I'm just saying, girl, I'm just saying. So, like I say, that right there, Bitch, I, I spared you last night. You ain't here to pay no deposit, but at the same time, you ain't even trying to pay your same day fee from yesterday, so that's what brings us to this morning. Then you coming over here, bitch, with the African shop right around the corner. Go. Goodbye. Y'all, on top of it, she brought her kids. Not one, not two, not three, but four of them. Four kids. Now, it's cool that a bitch probably don't have no babysitter all the time. But, bitch, if you gonna come over here with a nasty-ass attitude and then you bring your little chillin' with you, bitch, y'all gonna have to come with a whole lot of respect in somebody else's domain, bitch. And like I said, it's not 10 o'clock in the morning, so what is you doing, ho? Fast forward, y'all. The baby get the crying. Talking about she hungry. So she's like, well, I'm gonna have to go get my kids something to eat. So I'm like, okay, well, go ahead. Mind you, I'm still not tripping on it because I understand how shit be sometimes. And, you know, if you would've came yesterday, you probably wouldn't have had your kids bitch we at this morning and you need to go get your kids something to eat cool y'all she get up and leave by the time they make it back because i was still outside to smoke my little blend and shit like that by the time they make it back i'm wrapping up my little session or whatever because bitch now we on a break at this point technically so um, she saying that she like oh i'm getting irritated and shit like that and i hate when people do that because bitch who you trying to intimidate with your little anger bitch don't make me turn up because i get incredible hulk around this so I got dry so bad today, y'all. I got dry real bad. And let me let me take you out to the story. So today I did this girl here that I was not trying to pay me. When I said was not trying to pay me, was not trying to pay me. 
Um, she, first of all, it was like a same day appointment. She just hit me up on Messenger and it's always that type of people that all, it's always something. She hit me up on Messenger. Um, hey, can you, can you do my wig and start today? Yada, yada, yada. Today, yesterday I finished here at 12 o'clock. So when I woke up, um, this morning, I woke up like around 11, 12 o'clock. So she was like the first person that I did today. So I was like, okay, come out three and everything. Done what I had to do before I did her hair. I was even like, I didn't even stop to get food just so I could make it to the shop on time to store her hair. So she didn't find nothing bad to say about me. So I, I like, I got to the shop on time. I was like, where you at? She was like, um, she was like, I, I'm coming and yada, yada, yada. She was like, oh, I have to get hair. I'm like, you have to get hair? So I was like, for the ponytail? I said, I have some hair for the ponytail, just come. Because your appointment at 3 p.m. and I got to the shop at 3.06 and you still have to, you on your way to me and you have to stop for hair. That's probably like a whole 20, 25 minute that you're gonna put me, put me behind. So I told her, I have the hair, you could just get the hair from me and it's just like, okay, then I'll pay you for the hair and stuff. Yeah, this girl walk up into my shop. I had, I got chills. When I tell you, like my whole mood changed, and it's like, you know how you see someone and you can feel what type of person they are. So that's how I felt. And then when she come, I was like, hey girl, how are you? I've been trying to like, I'm trying to change her energy. I'm like, how are you? Trying to talk to her, like speak positivity into her. I started playing gospel and everything around her just to keep that positive um, spirit around me. So. Sis had her wig on her head, y'all. How you come to get your uh, uh, your hair done and you come to get a ponytail and you got a wig in your head that you installed two or three weeks ago? Make it make sense. And I don't offer wash service. I'm in a suite. Like, I, I do hair in a suite and everything. And it's like, you didn't even tell me anything about washing service or, you know, just in case. But, like, why would you come with your wig in your head? I said, since you have your wig in your head, I'm just going to have to do a reinstall. Like, a touch-up. I would have to uninstall the wig and reinstall it. Y'all, I had to take her wig down by putting glue remover, put my hot stuff on, clean her lace. Please. Go Are you gonna bring my package up? Nope. It's just gonna create more problem. I don't care. Please. What I've been here waiting, waiting on everyone patiently. I would like what to pay for my package, right? please. I'm not waiting on you. You're not you're refusing to wait on me. Okay, well I'm recording this and I will report this. Okay. May I help the next person who's waiting on to come up here, please? Yes, I have kicked people out of my studio mid-shoot before and even before the shoot started. There is one story that stands out to me in particular that happened to me that I will never forget. And look, just to preface this, I'm a really nice person until you disrespect me. If you disrespect me, I will not take your shit. I am not someone that's going to just sit there and take it. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. So this sweet client turned 18 years old and then she booked her session with me. She actually messaged me when she was 17 and I told her it is illegal for me to even chat with you. So message me when you turn 18. She did on her birthday. So clearly she has been wanting me to photograph her boudoir session for a really long time. So tell me why she disrespected me so badly when she came in for her shoot. Everything started off fine. She walked in, we greeted her. I gave her a huge hug. I was really excited to meet her. And then she pulls out her phone and she proceeds to start showing me the portfolio of a photographer that is like down the street from me. I was confused and I asked her, oh, I'm sorry, like, can you explain what you're showing me right now? This, this little girl flat out looks at me dead square in the freaking face, coming in hot and I don't know why, but she looks at me dead in the face and goes, if you don't shoot my photos like this, then I'm going to ask for a refund. I have no affiliation with this other studio. I ha I don't shoot like them at all. The style is completely different. They were very bright and airy and I'm very dark and moody. I think this girl knew for a fact that I don't shoot like that and she wanted to double check to make sure that I'm going to shoot her the way that she wanted to be shot even though she booked with me. 
Like, what? But look, the whole point is she came in hot. Like, I didn't, there was nothing that provoked this, and she was nasty for no reason. So I looked at her, and I was like, you can leave my studio now. She was, like, shocked that I was telling her to leave the studio. But I told her, absolutely not. I will not be disrespected in my own space. Asking is a completely different story than demanding and being a little brat like she was being. Y'all, I can't even explain how rude this encounter was. It was like, it threw me for a freaking loop. But y'all, if you come to me and you hire me and you love my work, don't ask me to change my style. That is not why you hired me. You hired me to create beautiful art in my style for you. Not to change my entire, like, whole style. Can't write it down for me? No. I have a baby that's crying. So you can't, I'm recording you. I'm a Navy Federal. I'm a veteran. We serve 15 years collective service. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out, I'm just trying to cash a check. I'm being told I have to bring my contract up here. I'm asking to speak to a manager very respectfully in private. And, I told and I'm not being a, not Okay, I didn't get the opportunity to get the manager's information. I don't know who Dana is. Dana is not a professional name or contact to give somebody. She's being so disrespectful. Who was the lady that I just spoke with? It's, um, assistant Manager Jody. Her name is Assistant Manager Jody. Do they have a point of contact? Do you, is no. this their business card? No, that's just. Uh, Do they have a business card on their desk? No. So there's no way to contact. There's they have no business card. So no, this you is, have to contact. So this is okay. Number. So let me write this down. Do you mind if I borrow your pen? No, you can take one. If you're okay, not a problem at all. Okay, and do you mind if I get a piece of paper on a notepad? Sure. Okay, perfect. Because I always seem to have a problem coming into this branch. So the point of the manager is Dana. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you guys are refusing to cash my check because you want me to physically bring my contractor who's trying to do my homework. I don't know anything about your check and that's... Okay, and I'm asking to speak to a manager about this situation. So if you and don't you know did. anything... Well, did. I didn't speak to a manager. She came up and She's she tried to disrespect me. Okay, and I did not get to speak with her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm asking to speak with her. You're asking to speak with I'm her? asking to speak with the okay. assistant manager. That's the first time you've asked me, so I will Okay, let know. well, she came up very disrespectfully. She didn't ask to speak to me in private. All right, if you could have a seat and be quiet, I can go get I'm her. sorry, did you say what? I could, if you can. You said if I can have a seat. A seat I told I'll you I'm her. deaf and I'm hard of hearing. I, you did so not tell me So you're asking that. me you to what? Okay, but why are you tell telling me, me as a grown woman to sit down and be quiet? Because that speaks people. everything to your attitude and okay, your demeanor. all right. Don't sit down. Respect yourself. I do. Respect yourself. I absolutely do. Please do. Okay, so the manager's name is Dana. Mm -hmm, and she's not here today. Okay, and the right. assistant manager's name, who I asked to speak with, is who, please, ma'am? Her name is Jody. Okay. I'm getting these point of conference, um, point of references to be able to, on the phone, speak with Navy Federal, just so you know. Mm -hmm. How do you spell Jody, please? J-O-D-Y. Okay. Okay. Could you put me in for an opportunity to speak with Miss Jody? Yeah, I've, I've, let, I've let her know. Okay, no problem. I'm going to go outside with my family for about five minutes so that I can have your peace and quiet kept in here. And I'll come back inside just so you know if you call me and you don't see me. If you want to take the card? Um, I think I have you guys' information. There's nobody's point of contact on here. Right, just, but the systems won't let us return TVs once they're damaged. You have to contend with the manufacturer. It was damaged when I bought it. Okay, and I understand. And with it being um, damaged inside the box, the manufacturer has to deal with it. Um, they have to file a claim through the manufacturer. Other places don't, don't have that policy. I don't know. I don't okay. look at other places. I, I, I yeah. don't think with my credit card. They okay. reject it. Okay. I mean, it, it makes no sense to me. Okay. Well, wait, I mean, does that make sense to you? It's I mean, our seriously. policy. I mean, it's our policy. Well, if that's your policy, mm -hmm. then you should tell everyone who buys a TV that policy. Because okay. if, if, if I knew that was your policy, I would have opened, I would have either opened it while I was here, or I just wouldn't have bought it. Okay. That's yeah. a ridiculous policy on a Christmas. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not something that I can control. It, it's not even our store won't control. It won't take back TVs that are broken. Yeah. So you're not going to return this TV that was broken Correct. in the box. Correct. So a person buys a TV from Best Buy, mm -hmm. and they get home on Christmas Eve, they open the box, and the TV is damaged. Mm -hmm. They come back the day after Christmas, and you won't return the TV. Yeah, we can. We have to file a claim through the manufacturer. They can issue an RA number um, for return authorization. Well, why can't you all do that? Because we're not the consumer. How come other... 
services don't, don't, don't have that policy. I don't work at other places. I, mean, that, I don't know that's what their policies service. are. Okay. That's horrible service. If I buy, right. I buy stuff from Punch from New York City, if it's damaged in any way, including TVs, mm -hmm. they just they say, send it back. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a way to do that here. It's so there's no one you can talk to above yourself that, that can, that can Every uh, manager this situation. above myself says the same exact thing. We do not return TVs. Every, every customer that we've ever had a problem with like this, we don't return them. It's not something me or her, it's our management here. We do not return broken TVs. Okay, I'll just yeah. deal with the credit card company. This woman was on standby for the flight. When she boarded the plane, she claimed a window seat and started an argument with a man sitting next to her. I need to get this flight out. Okay, so we need to get our stuff together here. What's this to be the problem? So you tell me first. She is the problem. I was sitting out right here. I came in and I had my charger put in right here. I came up for my charger. Look at it. Okay. What is it you get from I asked him to get up because he wanted me to call the bus to get in my seat. So I asked him to pick it up and I didn't put him up with a problem across their legs. So they got up. She's wrong with switch seats. I have no problem with that arrangement. Yeah, let's get going. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You called me a bitch. You called me a bitch. And you is one. Ma'am. Sir. 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 Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. No, 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 no. Ma'am, ma'am, you're 30 seconds from getting off the plane. I am not, no, 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 I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? I need to get this fly out. We're going to have to lighten up, all right? If I hear anything else, you're coming off. It's just simple. No, ma'am, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. For whatever reason, listening is not your strong suit. So this, so this is the message right here. They should be clear enough. Shut your dumb ass up, okay? Listen to the person who is telling all the directions. Follow them immediately. Why not? Why have I have placing order here? I'm trying to get my. my did you say this the wrong address? It's for one number. This is, okay, but 74 and this is 76. This is what I ordered before, ma'am. I'm just trying to get my food. Okay, call your supervisor. I have your own video and everything. I have your own video. I'm gonna report this to your supervisor. Come on. I place my order here. I place my order here. I'm not. I'm just trying to pick up my order. I have a receipt for it. You're basing on your address. It's different for two numbers different. 76, 74. This is the same address. I don't know why they have has it like that. Or maybe you're wrong, I don't know. But, but, but I placed my order here. Can you check, please? If you had your order, like I told you, it was a freak, just like the rest of these. Well, can you, you know? can you check again? They, we, get a, we get a bail when these come in. They do my order. If they pay me in, it comes, we get them like this. What about my receipt? I if have a receipt. Have, we don't have a receipt for you. I, no, I do have it on my phone where but I pay for it. The phone it and what we have in our computer is totally different. It doesn't print out on our store. So what I'm telling you is that you order it, it's not here at this store. But this is where it is, not to bring me to. This is where they must grab me to. Like, this is, I have ordered from here before. I have ordered from here before. So now I'm asking to leave my store. Please and thank you. So you're not going to give me my food that I paid for? No, because it's not here at my store. We do not have your receipt. I am showing you my receipt. On your phone and the receipt that we have. On the app. On the app. We can't take it like that. I keep trying to tell you that. We cannot you take it. You don't want to see on my phone. You no. Know? I ordered from here before. Call your supervisor. I'll, I'll talk to him. I need a refund in, that, in the store credit. Because you sent me to the other store, I went down there, it wasn't there. They told me to come here because this is the store where the order came from. Okay, came to. And then you, you, you just... Can you check your orders, please? No, because I'm telling you to get out of my store. Because if we print it I out, pay for my food and I want my food. That's all I'm asking for. So you're not going to give me my food? No, because we do not have your ticket. I bought this for $3.29. I bought this for $3.29. Look at, look, look. When I open it, look at the apples. I asked this man, can I exchange it? He's going to tell me I need a receipt. I show him my Apple Pay. It shows Alma, New York. It shows the address and everything. He's still telling me, call. he'd rather me call 7-Eleven and basically call the problem for $3.29. This is the Elmont in Elmont Road. This is a 7-Eleven in Elmont Road. Okay? 
This is the guy right here who's giving me problems. For three dollars and twenty nine cents. I told him he could keep the receipt. I, the guy who was here, I don't know who. Oh, oh yeah, and oh yeah. Let's not forget. He wants me to come back for the guy who ring me up. He is the manager. He wants me to come back for the guy who ring me up. As if I'm gonna come back and look for the cashier every single time to say, hey, you're the one who ring me up, can you exchange it? For what, for $3.29? For $3.29? Nah, bro. For $3.29? Look. Look at this. I'm calling from... Look at this. And now he's calling the police on me because I want to exchange something that he sold me that's messed up. Yo, this is the date. He put... They left it out and it... He's making our video here. Yes, I am making a video. Because you told you told me to. I don't know who is she. You told me to call. You told me call Seven Eleven. You told me to report it. So now here I am. I'm reporting it. Now you have a problem. You can have the three dollars and twenty five cents. You can have it. Look. For three dollars, right here. For three dollars. Fuck you. Okay, so I got a text message from DoorDash saying that you... But why did you have the nerve to come in my job talking to me when I was looking up customer? Because you had the nerve to report your food as never being received so I can get in trouble and have to pay for it or lose my job. I did not contact DoorDash instead of coming in my job. Huh? Don't report it as being... Okay, well, like I said, you need to go... So you're saying you got your food? You need to leave me alone, that's what I'm saying. You're you saying you got your food? Police. That's and fine, you can talk to me. I want to call the police, so please leave that's my fine. job. Just, please. why did you need to say that you got your food? I need you to leave my job. You can call the police, we can talk about fraud and all I that. I don't care what we can talk about, lady. You're in my job of business. Leave me alone, period. Who's your manager? I'm a manager. You don't got another boss? No, I don't. I'll tell you what. No, man. I'm not going to. So you're gonna you're gonna give a receipt now for them? I'm right here. I am right here, ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna lower your tone. I'll lower your tone. You're giving our seats to them? Yes, I am. Okay. It is 12 minutes and 27 what seconds. 12 minutes? It's too I'm open. Here. It's too open. It's still open. We're here. I'm executive platinum. You know that, right? Okay. One, two, three. I'm executive platinum here. I understand that. Yeah, and you give and yeah. you're my the, ticket to somebody else. So wait, wait. The plane is open. You just give me our seats out. Right. You're you just as an executive platinum know the rules. No, right. you're giving our seats out. Right. Yes, we are. Yes. It's still open. You can let so it in. in. If it was closed, you wouldn't be giving right. it to anybody else. If it was no. Closed, you Hi, how are you? Good. Can I please have a burrito? And I'm also going to get a bowl. Separately, yeah, please.
pregnant mother in the drive-thru where it's not designed for even people to be in, you guys have sunk to a new low. Sir, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's, it's... Oh, don't apologize to me. You put somebody, you would put a pregnant mother in a, where cars with no protection, that's just avarice and greed. To, there's yeah. no limit to that greed, level of greed. Uh, I, under, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I trust you that, that we take we can take care of our employees and that's something we probably need to think about a little bit better. Sir, I, I appreciate your comments, but- uh, I don't think so, we're because- gonna, We're gonna continue to run our business the way that we have it run, okay? All right, but you have to go to sleep knowing you put a pregnant mother at risk, putting her out there with those cars. Shame on you. All right, appreciate it. I know you don't appreciate it. You're uh, you're reluctant because you don't like me being here, putting this in your we're, face. We're at, no, I, I don't like that we're slowing down all of our other guests right now at this point. So we we do need to get it going. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, please. Bye. Get the hell out of my face. I said get out of our face, please. You're being so rude and you're so annoying. Please get out of my face.
there was a mistake with rice and now the food's cold she's gonna have to remake it twice she's overwhelmed she's probably on so i even started to film i don't know what's happening but i explained myself very clearly to her and she got like offended there was a mistake with hard rice like someone undercooked the rice look at her flustered right there okay can i go now there's no frustration i'm not frustrated at all i'm very happy Okay, but you asked five minutes after because you got mad. No, I cannot give you a free food. You're not giving any free food. No. You're in a, I don't want to say what I want to say because I know. You still, you still, you're still working at the Starbucks, right? And we, we don't ask for receipts. We exchange it right away. I know that. And you're being condescending. You just rolled your eyes at me. You're going to get fired because this. This will go viral. I would be so happy if you got fired. Go because you're the manager and you're ruining, I, you're ruining the business of Panda Express. I didn't. I didn't. You're jealous. You're jealous because I, I can't provide something. I can go get it now, but you asked six minutes into our conversation. You were, this is our lunchtime rush. People are walking out of the business because they don't even want to come in here. So what are we doing here? Either way, you're going to make me food again. I'll pay for it. No, it's cold now. I have money to buy my lunch and she wants to, I need warm food. Because she asked you to be like your girl It's okay. I just need to go. I mean, she's going to be order the same thing twice. It's okay, I can always change your plate if you want. Okay, can I just have this? And I won't have any problems with you. I No, I just want to leave with my food. As they made a mistake on Saturday. I come here three times a week. You must see me. I come here all the time. I work right next door. So you want I want fresh food or my food right now. Okay, I will give it to you right now. Okay. You will give it to me right now. Imagine you only get 25 minutes for lunch and you spend at least 15 minutes arguing with someone over a profit of maybe $3. It's a wild west. I'm not happy. I'm very frustrated now. I don't know what world we're living in. I'm just happy that I'm still breathing. I feel like you're going to have a heart attack. You have anxiety and I'm getting anxiety from you. I just came to get food. It's very quick. I came before the lunch rush to get out of here so I can go back to work. You're not sorry. It's not fair. You're making, you're embarrassing me. I feel like I should sue them for a, a lawsuit. You're embarrassing me. You're making a scene. I'm very embarrassed right now. No, you're embarrassing me. Everyone's looking at me. It's making my heart bump like a hundred beats a minute because I'm embarrassed. I try to understand. Okay, okay, thank you. She's still saying to pay for it. This is. I don't care. I will wait for you to look at the camera. Her hands are wet. Her hands are really wet. I don't care. Did I just tell her I ate it? Are you stupid? Are you Wait, this is? Yes, this is how I do my squares. If you don't like what I'm doing, then let's just be done with this. Because now it's like you're antagonizing me and like coming at how I do nails. Like it's really kind of rude. So in regards to this, since I'm not giving you what you want, I refunded you your deposit and we can be done with that. I'm not. We're, and we're all good. You don't, you don't even got to worry about it. We all good. I'm going to open the door so you can go. Is this a prank? No, this is not a prank. <laughs> this is real life. I don't like it, so that doesn't matter. That means she has to do your you know, entire face over. The makeup is for the clients, so like not for anyone else. Everything. Exactly. Everything not for everybody, child.
said paying them was a month. Yeah, they said that you weren't, uh, you weren't going to pay them. I was going to pay them. Everybody, you are, you got here. Have it, I have everything here. Yeah, she wrote me. She wrote me and was there and was behind her and was there. Are you here, Don? How much does it cost? How much does it cost? $80. You use it in the hand, and she told me she don't have it. She has to do that. So, okay, give me it. She said, telling me, the hair is too much back away. I said, okay, sit down, let me fix it. She said, no. You don't like it? She said, no. You want me to, to take it off? She said, no. So I don't know what she has. Okay, what is it that you would like her to do? This braid right here, she's gone back. If you look at the picture, this is not a picture. Okay, that's Can she fix the braid for you? I don't think that's fine with my grandmother. Look at this, look at the hairstyle and then that's the braid that's it's supposed to be right like this and it's all far back. I don't like that. I'm not gonna fix it. Okay, you want me to take it out? Take it out and do what? And and leave the way you come in here, you go home and put your hair one through the right there somewhere. Where's grandma? No, she's gone away. How far is she? What exactly is she? Is it going to be an extra charge if I fix it? Nothing, zero. Okay, you got 60 on you right now? If I fix it, how she can I get it? Alright, now we're going to get here. Fix it. You want, grandma, I'm just about to leave this one. Well, she just paid you. She just gave you the 60. There's 60 there, right? That's my 60. 10 more dollars. That's what I have. I understand. Oh, shit. Girl, you don't need nothing to fix this. Just give her the 50 and go. And I think 10 lady, I don't have to pay you. Before you, damn girl. So these customers decided they didn't want to pay us, so we're taking our shit back. That's our floor. We're ripping that shit right out. We installed it a few days ago. They don't want to pay. We're taking that shit right back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Got my bowl. I need y'all people that be wanting money to go get a job. Because it's not no workers no more. And I'm not going to keep standing in line like this. No. The FC workers ran to their office to hide after they seen me pull up. So I backed up to where I could see them. Just for them to come out and say, we're closed. Until I said it was for DoorDash. And then tried saying that they had no orders. Until we showed them our DoorDash order. If you don't like your job, quit. Don't waste other people's time. Okay, so let me tell y'all a story on why I refuse to accommodate clients now when they decide to inconvenience me. Okay, so my first client that y'all gonna see in my chair, she is not the client I'm talking about. The second one, yes, she is, but you didn't see her face. So yes, I'm gonna talk about you because you know you was wrong. So, but first of all, if you do hair, I suggest you get you an assistant, even if they just there sweeping the floor for you whatever they do you need you an assistant or somebody there with you at all times because you run into so many issues with clients and it's really they word against yours so protect yourself and get you an assistant but anyways back to what i was going to say so this client she books for an appointment for 6 30 p.m she was gonna be my last client of the day and she booked for medium boho knotless just as y'all see right here she booked for the exact same style but she did not have the exact same here as this client remember one this this hair thing is not one size fits all like everybody has different hair different hair sizes different texture so it's really you know i can't do everything the same but anyways so the client came in and was the client was asking to have an earlier appointment with me and at first i'm just like you know what no i had too many clients that day but i still decided to let her come in instead of at 6 30 at 4 30 so two hours before her appointment so she gets here and her hair is entirely too short for medium knotless like she could not get knotless braids at all because it was so broken off in so many areas like in the back around the sides and the edges like she barely had one inches of hair <laughs> So yes, y'all, that's it for today's video. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all set y'all notification bell on so that every time I drop, y'all get first dibs. Yes, yeah, so make sure you also run up the previous videos. Make sure y'all catch up from the previous videos because you know there's a part one from uh, from from Cuts from Hill and this is the part two. And if y'all run this video up to 2K likes, like I said, and 2.5K subs, we're gonna get another one. Okay, so without further ado, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all make sure y'all stay blessed, y'all stay safe, and yes. Till next time.